it's here, Machias, uh, is the capital of uh, Washington County. And uh, this is Waldo County, where you see Belfast. And apparently, votes were in areas that had high Ron Paul uh, turnout, votes didn't get listed at all. Um, and um, you can find this all over the Internet. You, uh, some of you who are more interested in this than others already know all of this. You're probably getting impatient already. So once again, there's Washington County and there's Waldo County. Machias and Belfast. Okay. So this place, Washington County, this is the birthplace of the United States Navy. The United States Navy wasn't created by commissioning to build ships. It was created by seizing ships. The building came later. So it's quite an interesting uh, history. So, let, uh, so from my point of view, it is utterly uh, shocking that the Republican Party would cut off a place like Machias from voting. Um, and this is why history is important. If people know their history, uh, I think more people would be upset about this. So let's see here. Um, I have this abstracted, but this is pretty good. So this is a little snapshot of the Revolutionary War. Um, December 1773, the Patriots protest British taxes, Tea Party. Then the first battle is the Battle of Lexington, Massachusetts. Um, and as the British are put to flight there, uh, they are harried and harassed by uh, 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 revolutionary uh, Americans. Uh, then uh, on April 29th, uh, I'm sorry, May 10th, Fort Ticonderoga is captured by Ethan Allen. And uh, Crown Point in New York is captured by the Americans. There are three victories thus far, but oops. Oh, and then on May 16th, uh, Benedict Arnold captures St. John, Canada, although he's going to go on after that and go to uh, Quebec City and get really messed up, if I recall correctly. Um, so on May 25th, everything changes because a British fleet arrives at Boston with lots and lots of troops. Now, what they, you'll notice there's no battle between May 25th and June 14th, but that isn't exactly true. Actually, there is a battle between those two dates, uh, which I have articulated, so to speak, right here. Uh, I think that um, we can look at Machias Revolutionary War History, I think is where you're going to find this. And I study this a lot because I stumbled upon the fact that two of my ancestors were in this battle, uh, nobody in my family knew it anymore. They'd all forgotten. They knew there was a Revolutionary War hero, but that couldn't be, you know, just people talking tall tales. So what happened here, in actual fact, is that on June 2nd, 1775, this British force that landed in the Americas sent uh, uh, with two merchant ships a, uh, a armed a schooner or sloop called the Margareta, the Her Majesty's ship Margareta, uh, to Machias, Maine, which was a village that had been founded about 13 years prior, which was a, 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 a timber town. So they needed the timber to build stockades and fortifications at Boston to put down the American Revolution. Um, so it's a peculiar story, but uh, what happens ultimately is that the Machias people um, are going back and forth over whether they're going to trade. Now, at that time, you really need to get an idea of what Maine was like, because these people were totally isolated. They could not get supplies in or out in a timely fashion except via sea. And Britain controlled the seas at the time. There was not a single ship in the quote-unquote U.S. Navy uh, or the United Colonies Navy um, at this time. So they were putting themselves at great risk to refuse to trade with the British because they needed those supplies. They didn't have enough things and they could produce locally. They were very dependent on the outside world and they were very poor too. But what they did have was a whole lot of spirit, it appears. So what happened was that, as you can see on June 12th, the, revolution, the revolutionaries uh, uh, attacked the British and captured their ship. And um, in this battle, two smaller uh, sh uh, commercial vessels uh, were re-rigged so that they could be used to attack this British ship. 
Uh, about uh, There were about 40 British on one side and about 30 Americans on the other side initially. The Americans were armed with uh, very crude instruments in some cases. It was indeed a very heroic act. And thus was the American Navy born. Uh, then they didn't stop there. Um, they then went on on July 12th and captured two more of uh, uh, armed schooners from the British when the British tried to retake them. Um, let's see here. Okay, and that's when the Flying Squadron, the first Flying Squadron of the United States Navy was created in Machias, Maine. And uh, they were in for it because there was a punitive raid uh, done on that whole coast with a complete burning of um, Falmouth, I believe, uh, which was a, a town at that time that was the, mo the largest, and it was completely burned to the ground. Machias was raided, and uh, the British called Machias the Hornet's Nest. Um, they considered a more difficult group to deal with than Bunker Hill, although that could be self-congratulatory uh, hyperbole, because um, some historical accounts, as you folks know who have ever read these older books, have um, a bit of liberty with things. So uh, I'm, this is one of the most important books about this, The Life of Captain Jeremiah O'Brien, commander of the 1st American Naval Flying Squadron. So they managed to capture more and more ships. And what you'll find out if you drive yourself to study all of this, so this is Penobscot County, and that was also very important. Disastrous, it was considered the greatest American naval defeat up until Pearl Harbor, and it occurred in 1779. Um, and uh, one of these fellows that was uh, my ancestor, uh, uh, Mess Daniel Messerby, served there. Um, so let's see here. Uh, another interesting thing is that Ron Paul sometimes talks about letters of mark to be used to go after terrorists. And exact, that's exactly what they did, uh, was to create letters of mark. Um, and what you'll find out, let's see if I can get this for you briefly. <clears throat> What you will find out, if we can get to it briefly, uh, oh dear, not that one. Okay, let's see here. Well, we're going to take a break from that and look at the history of Maine. So from 1620 to 1760, uh, Maine was essentially a march. It was essentially a place that battles raged up and down. Um, in 1612, Okay, all right, so th this is part of French Acadia, okay, and just to uh, make everyone happy here today, let's see if I can get um, some examples of French Acadian culture for you, uh, briefly, all right, no, that's not it, bloody hell, sorry folks, um, Let's see here. No, we don't want that either. Oh, that was that wonderful uh, clip I was going to play you of the um, lobstermen who are supporting uh, uh, Ron Paul. So this is the expedition that was taken from Machias to attack uh, uh, the... Well, here you see, um, this was an attempt to push the uh, English out of Nova Scotia and uh, New Brunswick. Um, and what was very interesting about this, it did fail. As you can see here, about 12 Americans killed and one Brit killed. But something very important occurred. And one of my ancestors was in this one too, uh, uh, Jonathan Woodruff. And I hope you don't mind my honoring them by mention since it's this particular moment with Washington County being suppressed. Uh, and this battle, what happened in this battle when they went up St. John's River, um, the, the, uh, there was a heavier uh, force that showed up than they thought would be there. And what they ended up doing was making friends with some local Indians that they were concerned would uh, turn hostile to them. And, that's ex and that made a key difference when the British came to attack Machias because the Indians assisted the Americans in, uh, in holding off the British and this is a sort of a cute thing. Colonel Allen left Machias with party in four whale boats and four birch canoes. Party including Indians numbered 43 men. 
More than half of Allen's troops had served under Eddie at Fort Cumberland. By the mo morning of June 2nd and 1st, by 13 canoes, Allen proceeded eastward. So they wind their way through this, and uh, they are dealing with these uh, Maliseet Indians. Um, let's see here. And a, a nice thing about this northern uh, 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 Maine is that there were very little conflict between the Americans and the Indians by the 1750s. Uh, in the 1600s, it was much more severe than that. So what we want to look at to correlate this <clears throat> is um, this timeline here. So um, let's see here. So we saw that that, uh, uh, camp, that expedition that we were looking at uh, was in 1777 in May, and it was just in time to uh, see Admiral Graves, who commanded the entire British war fleet on this side of the Atlantic, uh, uh, ordered to proceed and reduce Machias in 76 and 77. He was really annoyed uh, that a, a, a little group of villagers could seize uh, His Majesty's uh, vessel. Uh, in this case, which was the Margareta, which was renamed the Machias Liberty, if I'm not mistaken. Um, there was the uh, Machias Liberty, and uh, there was also the Unity, which was renamed. They built quite a little uh, a squadron of ships through the capture of these ships. So you see, it fortuitously frustrated the raid plan. So if they hadn't have done this uh, mission into... Um, uh, Nova, uh, uh, New Brunswick is likely that Machias would have been reduced. And Machias did end up getting punished. There was a, um, uh, uh, in, in the War of 1812, this area was occupied for a long time by the British, as far as I can tell, from 1814 to 1818. So uh, if you guys post anything that you want me to keep working on this, I certainly will. But what I want to make clear is um, that uh, this is a, a little-known place that is extremely um, uh, essential to our American heritage um, that made a huge difference in the beginning of the war. We can never say which particular events led to our uh, narrow victory, mainly by the French helping us along with some, uh, you know, sensible people over here. Um, but uh, this was a, the first battle of its kind, where a group like this, isolated, and with terrible threat of retaliation that was actually taken out on them. How could you deny the, uh, the uh, descendants of such heroes uh, the right to vote? Uh, thank you. My name is Alexander Hagen. Good night and good luck. Uh, let's see. Yeah.